2019 and here are my December favourites. So one song that I really liked in December is the Sunflower song. I don't know if that's the title of the track. But it's off the soundtrack of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So it's, it's very catchy and it's like the opening... It's, uh, it's played in the opening scene of the movie when we're first introduced to the main protagonist. And he's lying on the bed and he's listening to this... Eh, 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 eh. Anyway, it's about a sunflower and I think it's about a girl who is um, kind of messed up but fragile so she's kind of like a sunflower and then this guy says that she needs him in order to survive. Something like that. So um, I just really like the, the, the way the song is arranged. Like, I think the sunflower parts are cute um, and I just think the beat and everything, it's kind of atmospheric. I guess that's why I also made it into the movie. Um, but yeah, that's my favourite track for December and it's from the movie Into the Spider-Verse which unfortunately I fell asleep at while watching. So favourite movie for the month is Bohemian Rhapsody which tells the story of uh, Freddie Mercury's life and um, I mean I'm a Queen fan so I might be slightly biased. I thought it was an awesome movie, like it was actually pretty long. I only realised that when I left the theatre, I'm like wow, that was actually quite a long movie. But like I definitely didn't see it as, as I was watching it. I'm sure they took liberties with how the story was portrayed but they kept mostly to it. It was visually quite stunning. I mean musically obviously the music of Queen is there and the guy who played uh, Freddie Mercury, I thought he got better as the movie went along and I, it was really nice because you really got to see the struggle. You could feel the struggle that he had um, being not white and being like an immigrant and, and things like that and also struggling with his sexuality and stuff like that. Um, there were moments in the movie that were really really uh, moving, like I was really moved at points and um, yeah, I'll say go watch it. If you're a Queen fan, even if you're not a Queen fan, my goodness, why aren't you? Uh, I'll say go watch it. And I just heard that um, Bohemian Rhapsody has reached like the number one song of all time, which is great. I'm sure that it's also because of the movie, like people who've not heard it have gone to listen to the song and also people who like me love the song, you just re-listen to the song. Um, if you've never heard the song Bohemian Rhapsody, you must be like, I feel very sorry for your music knowledge. Uh, but when I first heard it, I remember um, I was a kid and I was like, what is this song? There were like operatic moments and you wouldn't even know it's the same song, right? But uh, it's it's one of uh, my favorite songs to sing at karaoke just because it, it's just so varied and it's a song that everyone knows and it's a song that, you know, you can jump in at different points if you want to do the falsetto, if you want to do the like, you know, the scaramouche, scaramouche. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I digress. Bohemian Rhapsody. So I have uh, two favourite lip products for the month. One is this liquid lip by Pixie. So it's, um, they sent me a whole box of stuff and I actually quite love like almost all the colours, which is really rare. So this one is really rose. I think this is my favourite colour of the lot. It's not the one I'm wearing, uh, but this is like a rose shade. It's like a dusty pink shade. And I really like it because it goes on really matte and really smoothly. It, wear, it doesn't really wear off, like it stays on pretty well, but if you need to reapply, because some of the liquid lipsticks, I find that when you reapply it, it gets clumpy. This one you can actually reapply it and it, it, it looks okay. Um, I like that it's really opaque, so I can draw just slightly outside my lip line to make my lips look fuller. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is the applicator. It's a bit soft. That's what she said. Uh, it's a bit soft, so when you try to draw a precise line, sometimes it's a bit hard to control. So that's my only grouse with it. Uh, but otherwise, I really like it and I really like almost all the shades. Uh, another favourite lip product for the month is by Fresh. So this one is Sugar Punch. It's a tinted lip treatment and it has SPF 15. So it's great for um, someone outdoorsy like me, like especially on my trekking trips. Who has time for makeup really when you're trekking? But this kind of gives you a bit of colour and it gives you some protection. I like this, it's like a coral shade. Okay, it looks a bit worse for wear. It's a corally shade. Uh, yeah, this is sugar punch. So I guess it's like a fruit punch shade. Um, it's really natural and it's nice even when I have no makeup on because you know certain colours only look good when you have makeup on. So this one's okay even when my face is completely bare, just sunscreen. Um, another favourite that I would like to mention for the month is my rain jacket. <laughs> Which sounds really uncool. Uh, but this is my jacket that I use for hiking. So it's gone with me to Everest, it's gone with me to Peru, and um, it's gonna go with me on more trips. And I actually use it sometimes in Singapore as well when it's raining because it's really, really waterproof and it really keeps you dry underneath and it has a hood. So if you need to run like 
sometimes I don't want to get my hair wet <laughs> or if I just come out of hair salon I actually just cover my hair with it and you do a dash to the car it, it's it's pretty good it's by Mamot and I got it in a very bright pink of course um, but you can get it in other colors as well and in fact when I was trekking in Peru my guide has the same one his um, his was blue and he said this is by far the best rain jacket so I guess if a guide says it and he checks like I don't know like half the year more than half the year um, I would believe him so yeah my rain jacket one of my favorites for the month um, I've had a few people ask me about what I bring on my travels when I go trekking because I've gone on quite a few trekking trips this year if you want the video just specifically on like a trekking tra uh, pack list or like what to pack for like Everest Base Camp if you're thinking of going uh, drop me a line in the comment box below I can share with you what I bring I tend to overpack in terms of being warm because I'm always cold uh, but I can share with you what you need and what you don't need and how much you need because when you when you pack for a trek say the fast pack for a trek you, you have to pack light because it's going to be on your back so it's very important that you only bring essentials so let me know if you want I will do a video just on that okay so another favorite for the month of December is this fabulous skirt it's so extra guys I mean it's sequined and it's tiered and it's flat can you be any more extra uh, so this one for mellow fashion and i really really like it it was great for the party season i actually because it's so extra and fabulous i actually tone it down with like a, just a simple uh, tank top or a simple band t-shirt and i find it looks really nice with sneakers but it's like such a fun party look don't you think i just love shiny things another favorite that i really liked this month um this is not a sponsored post so i have a condition called plantar fasciitis which basically means I have an inflamed, the plantar fascia is like the area where the arch of your foot is, the heel and the arch, and the area is inflamed. So it's been honestly pissing me off because I've been suffering with this for the past few months and I can't do a lot of sports that I like. I can't really run or I shouldn't be running. I can't skate, it really hurts. Um, and because I can't run, I can't do a lot of things. I can't do long distance running. I'm not really supposed to play netball, although I do cheat here and there. And I've had to find ways to work out without aggravating the plantar fascia which is annoying so Ultra Health Clinic they stepped in and they offered me um, treatment to help fix the condition and basically it's a mix of physical therapy as well as uh, ultrasound therapy and shockwave therapy shockwave is not fun it's painful uh, but I found that my foot really has gotten better they are trained osteopaths so they can kind of fix any part of your body it's not specific like podiatry but it's just to feed it's Osteopath, so like I have friends who go in for back aches, neck aches, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm happy with it because my foot is slowly, slowly getting better and I really hope that this month I can really start to, you know, all out, go crazy with netball and start really getting in the swing of getting back to my workout routine, my skating, my running, my netball. So yes, thank you very much, Ultra Health Click. And um, yeah, I mean, let me know if you too have plantar fasciitis and what you do. We're supposed to do stretches every day, which... I'm not good about doing but I should um, so give me some tips if you have the same condition or you know drop me a line if you have like a similar condition maybe I can kind of advise you just based on what I've been going through for the past few months so those are my favorites for the month let me know in the comment box below what your favorites were books movies food treatments beauty products fashion things anything let me know um, so I can check them out as well otherwise I'll catch you soon on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!